Matthew Milton. How's it going, dude? Couldn't be better. Couldn't be better. <laughs> so I have your. Uh, is this is that true? This is your only guitar. Is that you said that's like your only guitar at the moment? Yeah, this is my only guitar right now. Times got tough, so I sold some backup guitars. I had a uh, had an Ovation Viper that was pretty cool, and uh, I had to part ways with that one and went down to only one guitar. So that's where I'm at right now at the moment. What did you think of the Viper compared to the Breadwinner? Pretty cool, man. Vipers are cool too, but the Breadwinner just has such an awesome shape, you know. And I just felt like, you know, when I picked it up, it just felt right. And uh, yeah. So, so the whole reason that you're doing this, you're getting ready uh, for recording, right? That you're recording the new, which is going to be the third uh, album from Dream Machine, right? That's right. We're recording our third album. It's coming along really nicely. We got the drums all recorded, so we're about to get into tracking bass, guitars, keys, vocals, all the good stuff. And uh, yeah, that, that guitar, I've been through the ringer. I bought it in 2010, and then it went on... Just just tour after tour after tour, hundreds of shows with that guitar, and uh, I'm surprised it even made it in decent condition. But um, yeah, it had just never gotten a real setup. So 2010, that would have been 2010. That would have been a, a different band for you, right? Uh, who were yeah. you with? It? What was your band at the time? Yeah, I think I bought it <clears throat> right when I was in uh, the band Bear Wires, and then that was breaking up, and I started Warm Soda. So it was uh, in just like a crazy transition period. And I was like, I need a cool looking guitar. You know, I need something that's really me. You know, when I'm up there on stage holding a guitar, I want it to really. And I saw that when I was like the breadwinner. That's pretty cool. You know, and uh, yeah. it sounded great. And I should mention, I was mentioned before about that pickup, the DiMaggio uh, Super Distortion. That's actually from a very weird and interesting guitar um, I'll try and pull up a picture of it for you, but it was from a 1963 uh, Gibson SG Junior that was from my uncle, my uncle Dennis Melton, who's from West Memphis, Arkansas, and he passed that guitar down to me, and I played the hell out of that thing. And actually, the neck kept breaking, you know, on those uh, SGs, SG Juniors, they have that kind of a Achilles heel of that neck that always breaks. And Oh, um, yeah. I fixed it like four times and then it just got ridiculous where, you know, I would need like a, a real deal uh, luthier to. So that guitar just it just got totaled, man. At one point, I right. think I like I like screwed a can opener on the back to like support the the neck of the guitar. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> but th this this uh, this breadwinner has got so many stories on it. I actually can't tell you a lot of them because your your whole YouTube channel would get b banned immediately. But um, I mean, <laughs> we've had some fun times with that thing. One time we were coming back from a European tour, flying from Paris to Austin, Texas, and the stewardess comes over to us and uh, she could kind of see we were a band together on the plane. And she's like, hey, just so you know, Ace Freely is up in first class, I just, you know, from Kiss, and I just thought I'd let you guys know you were, you know, and we were like, "Well, that's cool." Ace Freely's on the plane. I just thought I'd violate his privacy. <laughs> I know it's yeah. like, well, we actually yeah. don't like Ace Freely, and we're gonna go up there and no, we we were like, "That's so cool." Yeah. <laughs> we ran into him. We hate it. He owes us money. I know you're money. like Ace Freely. <laughs> that's. <laughs> We ride where we wanted, man. No. Apparently, no, she didn't we... see the picture of you with the switchblade. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you don't have that. I on. love that picture, man. That was like, oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Menacing. <laughs> but <clears throat> no, we ran into Ace getting off the airplane, and he kind of saw us. He saw we were a band and kind of gave us like a like a nod of approval and we were like oh cool and i showed him the guitar but it was like in passing you know he had his bags and yeah. stuff so i didn't want to be like oh my god he's the super cool. fan you know we were yeah. cool we were cool about it and i was just but you know it's like also you know it's that's ace cool free. though that it's re what's really cool about it is that ace uh, played one of those and that you exactly. know he laid his eyes on yours that's kind of neat you know he I had to go cool. away thinking i know hey i remember that guitar you know I know. At the time, I was, I was like, what should I, should I ask him? You know, I was like, I don't really want to be like, can I have an autograph? So I just kept it cool. And, you know, we had a very cool, 
interaction in passing. But yeah, it was funny. I was like, would you believe I have a white uh, ovation breadwinner in this case? He's like, no kidding. <laughs> you know, it, it was it was cool. <laughs> It'd have been funny if he's like, "What's that?" <laughs> I know it's like, uh, "I never knew the name of any." I, I know. I replaced. <laughs> he's probably had more than a few. So, but uh, no, that was a cool moment with that guitar. But no, it's been through a lot. No, I was actually, I was actually reading about uh, his experience with the breadwinner a little bit more uh, since the last time we talked about it too. And it, um, what interesting is he kept it a little longer than i thought i thought it was like he had it for like a few early kiss rehearsals and stuff like that but no i mean apparently he played like some shows with it and uh it followed him for a little while like for about a year early in early kiss so it was i, I didn't know that so but yeah it was interesting he, he played more than just like one or two sh shows or rehearsals it was with him for for a bit there early on so that's cool. I didn't know that. I, I that's the first time I'd ever seen a picture, a photograph of him with anything. I think, but a Les Paul, All right? You know, yeah. In Kiss, so, so that was interesting. That was a new one on me. So, uh, so yeah, man, you, you and Doris are you're laying down tracks. Has she gotten any of her keyboard stuff done yet, or? No, I'm still mixing the drums. I got the drums all laid out, and I'm kind of, I'm like really giving myself time to. Um, kind of forget about the mixes and then reapproach them you know and i burned mm -hmm. a cd listen to it in the car kind of really make sure that the drums are just solid so that way we have a solid foundation and don't have to worry about doing anything you know later it's just the drums are perfect and uh yeah. but it, it came out so good man much better than the first two records and i really think this album is going to be is going to cut glass because we're really just I think we're approaching this one with a different a different mindset and just a different approach. Before it's just been so haphazard. It's kind of it's kind of astonishing that we even recorded and released either of those first two albums because it was just like here we're going here we're going over here. It was just such so crazy, such a crazy time and now we actually had the time to say how how do we want it to sound? How should we how do we go about to get it to sound the way we want? You know what I mean? And really take the time sure. to get the gears to start turning the right way. But yeah, I saw the video where you got that, uh, where you got that Sears silver tone amp behind you there. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about your amp? Oh yeah, that, that is great. That is one of those little, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a Sears amp, but it just sounds awesome. You know, it's all tube amp and it's just, breaks up so not i mean you can really get some crazy coloration and break up if you crank it and it's it's one of those amps that has like the different inputs it's got like a microphone and then instrument inputs you know like sure as if you were gonna like play your whole band through the amp and uh but uh no yeah that amp sounds good it's ready to go and then i've got my uh homemade amp which is essentially like a a fender uh conglomeration of different things so <laughs> oh, oh yeah that's right yeah we talked about that one too <clears throat> so when you did the drums though man did are, are you doing like uh, are you fly with with the uh, bass so you look maybe you only have a how are you doing that are you doing click tracks or or is he just like imagining the song and, and drumming along to it no or? We, we record them all the tape to task m38 and um yeah, I did uh, the click and the count ins on track one and then a little demo of the song on track two. So I still had six tracks left over to get okay. snare, rack, floor, and two overheads. So that's how we did them, you know, six drum tracks. And then um, is our buddy Will flew out from California in the middle of coronavirus, hopped on the plane to come here and record. And he lived in this room. He lived right there. And uh we just did it for a couple of days, just got everything together. And it was, uh, it was really good, man. I actually think it was the best drum session I've ever recorded. It was just, the vibe was right. We prepared for it, which is actually right. something I didn't really do much of before. You know, we actually sent him demos right. of the songs and we talked on the phone for hours and he would say, you mean like this? You know, he'd be like at the drum set in California and we, you know, we just go over the songs and we do like 
three and four hour sessions on the over the phone, just building them up remotely. So when he wow. got here, we already had the we were already on the same page, you know, and there was just little things we would tweak. But so. So you recorded to the, the to your task cam. Are, are you bouncing those tracks down now to make room or how, how are you how are you going about mixing down? Just I'm just curious about your. Your method. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So the method is, you know, I did fill up those eight tracks. We got the click and the scratch and then, you know, six tracks of drums, bounce everything in. And I'm being very careful not to do any, no, nothing weird and digital, but just capturing the signals. And then I'm going to mix that. Once I get the mix just perfected, I will bounce that back onto uh, as a stereo mix onto two tracks on a new tape. So then gotcha. we'll have six tracks for all the other stuff. And uh, so that's the that's the game plan, to get a really golden stereo mix of the drums and have it on two channels of the, of the uh, TSM 388. And, and then, uh, yeah, then we got six tracks of tape to record everything else. So we'll be uh, collapsing tracks together and doing all the really good tape stuff, you know, and... Uh, yeah, I think trying, it's to, get, trying to keep it warm and analog, yeah. Absolutely. No, you definitely got that set whole, the whole seventies analog vibe and stuff going on with, with your band. It's cool that that you know that's that seems like an integral thing with you guys. Like you should do, you know, keep that. Yeah, absolutely. That that tone of you know going everything through tube, everything through whatever we can make it to be warm. I just got a uh, Universal Audio Solo Six Ten, and so that is going to be you know that is an awesome little unit. It's actually one. Uh, channel strip off that original 610 desk that they used on a bunch of cool records like i think they did it on like neil young harvest and some other stuff yeah but, like real real like good sounding records and so i got one of those and we're going to run that through the vocals the bass i mean i think i'll just run everything through that you know yeah, probably a good <laughs> idea have you experimented with it at all yet yeah back when we lived in austin i rented one from this place called rock and roll rentals where you could like rent something like that for a week and it's pretty cheap uh so i've used it before man that is cool i mean i don't think you could really find anybody that says like the solo 610 by universal audio sucks i think you'd be hard pressed to find somebody who like doesn't love the way it sounds because it just sounds awesome you know it's yeah. warm tube right yeah, I'm excited for you, man. It sounds like uh, you guys have got a cool project coming up. I can't wait to hear it. And like I said, um, you know, I've got a couple of little surprises. I think uh, you'll enjoy when when you get your guitar back. Um, the like I said, I, I did a little bit more on it than you initially, you know, sent it for. But uh, that was just because I just I felt bad about sending it back in the state it was in and knowing that you were about to record. So it. Uh, uh, um, especially on the frets because the frets they weren't great but they weren't terrible either they were kind of midway so it was like hey, yeah, okay i'll do it <laughs> you know yeah. it was one of those things so uh, i think you'll enjoy it I, I hope you do at least and uh yeah man i'm looking forward to hearing what you guys can put out with this record man excited for you i can't wait for you to hear it it's it's definitely our comeback album because we did the first two and then all these things happened, you know, we were moving over here, we're moving over there, all these things were happening. So this is like our, this is our comeback album, you know, so it's, it's going to be good. And I really appreciate everything you put into it, you know, because I know you put a lot into this uh, guitar and, you know, to get it back, it's just going to be so much fun. And I'll, I'll make you proud. I'll do some. All good. right, man. <laughs> well, I hope to make you proud with this video. And uh, yeah, at least if nothing else, you'll, you'll get some entertainment out of it, I'm sure. Oh, I can't wait to see it, man. I'll probably watch it. Uh, you'll probably get 100 views just off me watching what you did to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Matthew Melton of Big Machine, Air Wires, Warm Soda, Matthew Melton solo stuff, all of all of his uh, past. Uh, go ahead and plug your website and where we can find your past records and where we're going to be able to get the new record when it comes out. You know, our website sucks. So I won't even tell you. Just go to our YouTube channel. That's our website. We're YouTubers. It's Matthew and Doris or, you know, Dream Machine YouTube. I don't know. You can probably, people could Google it if they want to find us. But yeah, the Matthew and Doris 
YouTube channel is our website. It just kind of ended up that way because our website looks like is I think it's dreammachine432.com and it we made it in like 2015, but it looks like it was made in like <laughs> 1995 or something. It's like a it's like a GeoCities. It's like a Lycos website. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that might uh, that might go well with the ethos of the band. It's like just maybe keep so. it as Geo Cities. Maybe even like put like some emojis and some really <laughs> you know <laughs> crappy looking Windows ninety five looking stuff on there. Those that would gifs be great. that are just rolling, you know? <laughs> yeah, like... that just that are just annoying and keep popping up and everything. <laughs> yeah, there's that one that's like a dancing girl, and there's a the one that's like a guy mowing the yard, and it's like little. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that stuff. Well, G- there was Geo Cities, and what was the? What were the other ones, man? There were some early, uh, oh, terrible. What was, uh, wasn't it like Angel Fire or Fire Angel? Yeah, fire. <laughs> that one got an Angel Fire site that's still up there somewhere, man. It's like whoa. I, I found it again yeah. the other day. I was like, oh no, this is awful. <laughs> wow. Dude. And it's I don't just, even know how to remove it. You know what I mean? I know it's just like it's fossilized just, in the internet somewhere. And yeah, you it's a video weird. on your on your OG Angel Fire site. <laughs> oh my god! I think all that's on there was like, because uh, I did it at a time where you couldn't even you couldn't even upload. I don't think audio tracks except like for just for very short snippets of things. That's all you could put on there. So it was right. like, and so it's like early. And uh, so I've got little short uh, mini snippets and like just really crappy icons and like some <laughs> lyrics, some songs or something on there. It's, it's awful. Yeah. It's really bad. That is I wouldn't so even funny. point anybody to that, even to make fun of it. <laughs> I know. I can't wait for the new one. I've I've been jamming on this old stuff for for so long. It's like I'm you know itching for some new material. So, oh dude, just you wait. It's 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 a um, we knew we couldn't have a skimpy record if we're it's been like years since you made a record. You can't drop like a eight or ten song record. So we got fourteen songs. Probably edit down to twelve. And uh, so it's gonna be like a like a triple cheeseburger album. You know, of, it's gonna be thick. Sweet. Well, you, uh, I'm, I'm going to hold you to that, man. You're going to give me a signed copy, right? Oh, you got it. We'll send you a, 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 a mega pack. We'll send you all types of good stuff. And, and, uh, I, I, I think you made your way onto the liner notes for everything you've done so far, man. You're, you're going to be all up on there. <laughs> well, I'm going to holler, uh, at the Kalium strings guy too, for you. Like I said, uh, just stand by for that. I'm not sure, you know, uh, I'll have to I'll have to see if I think I've got his email. Um, so I'll, I'll look for that here in just a few and uh, shoot him a cool. message. And if you're interested in that, then we'll, I'll go ahead and yeah. follow him for you. Too. Absolutely. But I figure free, free strings, man, it's hard to be, you know, if, if he can send you some free strings and keep you yeah. in fresh strings. So absolutely. Uh, I, I, all right, I like man. The sound too. Uh, the sound of the, uh, the name. It's like, got, it's like Kalium. Kalium. It's, I'd never heard of them before. Uh, but that bass player friend of mine, he turned me on to him and the guy sent me, he, he contacted me first and he was like, what, what gauge strings do you like? You can have any string gauges you want, you know, for individual strings. And I had to think about it. I was like, I don't know, man. Uh, I just like, use like nines for fenders and tens for Gibsons. And he, he's like <laughs> 10 to 46. I'm like, yeah, pro- probably. Yeah. 10 to 46 or, you know, whatever. I was just kind of guessing off my head. So he just yeah. sent me like a, a few things to check out. So. I, I slapped one of those on your guitar, so that's what's going to be on it when you get it back. Oh, cool. Oh, and also, your super distortion is not a super distortion. Really? It's a Yes, really. It is a, uh, what is it, a dual, it's a dual uh, super distortion. So it's got uh, three, it's the three lead version of the super distortion. It's not called oh. a super distortion. It's called the dual uh, shit. What is it? I say it in the video, but you'll see what I mean. It's the no dual kidding. version. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, that came out. Mm-hmm. They came out with that first in 74, and yours is definitely, it's got to be an early one, I think. Uh, I can't date those, really, because I don't, you know, I'm not an expert on super distortions, but, and I don't yeah. think there's very much that distinguishes them, really. Um, but I yeah. think this is probably an early one, just judging by the patina. So. That's so cool. Yeah, it's got some, it's got some patina on it, and man, that thing is, uh, it's just the perfect bite. I love it. Just, just the pickup sound. It's got a nice little little something going on in there and uh yeah i've always liked demarzios man i don't think enough uh, new guitars come out with them 
just because it seems like everything has Duncans and starts to kind of sound and feel the same. You know, anything you pick yeah. up is, you know. But uh, but yeah, those definitely have bite to them. I've always liked the Super Distortion. I could see why all the guys used them back in the day. Yeah. I think even Ace Freely had a Super Distortion in his bread one, didn't he? That'd be so yes. cool. I didn't no, know. I, I, I be, I'm almost positive he did because uh, I just looked, like I said, I just looked at the photos uh, yeah. again, I guess last night. And it, I, I could swear it was a super distortion that he had in his breadwinner. <laughs> so <laughs> that is so fun. And then I run into him on an airplane. That's just like, and yeah. I've got a breadwinner with a super distortion on the plane. It's like, that's a weird coincidence, you know? Yeah. I bet he was shocked that you didn't ask him to sign it or something. I bet he was like, he didn't want me to sign it. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I would like, love to sign that. <laughs> it's like, I think he's cool. He's the guy from Kiss. So that's cool. But it's like, yeah. also, it's like, do I really want like a SIG on my guitar? You know, it's kind of right. like, oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, uh, it's just kind of like too weird. Or, plus, it's like embarrassing. It's like, yeah, but you have to sign the back. That's what you do on some. Oh yeah, like, yeah. But it's, just, ace, it's fucking ace freely though. I mean, you I know, know, yeah. Definitely wishing you guys all the best on this record. I'm really excited for you, and uh, yeah, I'll probably get this thing back to you. Uh, probably hit the post tomorrow, I would imagine. So. Oh, cool! That's awesome, and thank you so much. I, I, I'm so psyched. I'll make a uh, I'll make a reaction video. That'll be pretty funny. <laughs> Excellent, man. We'll see you. Awesome. See ya.